Hey everybody, how you doing? So, I was looking in the mirror earlier on and I just thought, oh my goodness Stephen, you look so tired and worn out. Oh my goodness Stephen, you look so tired and so worn out. But then I thought, well, it's been quite a year. This year has been unbelievable. And um, I'm gonna try and not cry, but I know I am gonna cry. And I am emotional. It's Christmas, it's coming to the end of what has probably been the hardest year of my life. In January, I lost my friend Molly. Now Molly had been my friend for 26 years and she was the only person that could tell you off but give you a hug at the same time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, and she was just always there and just a staple in my life, you know, just a, a secure, definite in my life. And she'd been sick for a long time and I knew things were getting bad and at the very beginning of the year she slipped away quietly just like Molly would you know so January was chaos for me you know it was just really difficult going up to Scotland and informing friends and all that kind of thing so obviously it meant me being in Scotland so I got the chance to do my first video of 2019 which was getting some work done so that was great to see my friend Liz in Glasgow. February comes and just looking back at pictures here so February I got to um, do a photo shoot with this picture that you've probably seen on my social media so that was great and also in February I got to surprise Carolyn and go and see her show in in Glasgow she was doing My Fair Lady um, there's a few pictures here of Carolyn and me and Heather she helped arrange the surprise so it was it was brilliant getting up to Glasgow to see them and spend some time with them March is my, the third birthday of Heart Talks cannot believe it you know so that was amazing but then something happened to me in March that has changed my life I lost my friend Kieran this was a massive huge loss for me Kieran was only 42 years old and I've spent every day since wondering why and how and why it was him and not me and just trying to understand it and there's no understanding it when you lose somebody that you love that much that it's so sudden and so unexpected so March was horrific I was supposed to go to New York and obviously I had to postpone New York because of Kieran's funeral we didn't get to bury him till April so April came and then I May comes and I get to go to New York um, and to do my 10 year anniversary show of Shadow Dreamer and then there were some good things you know there was the, the, the great thing was getting to see Ellen my friend Ellen and June and I did a video called Girls Night Out which you can check out up here and that tells us about us going to see a show on Broadway and getting to do Shadow Dreamer again after 10 years was unbelievable you know I'm gonna put in a couple of clips just 10 years and you think times have changed and really I thought does my show still work and is it still valid and I realized doing it in front of 400 young people um, back at the college where I'd started it off 10 years earlier oh my god it was amazing I remember seeing a guy's shoes standing in between mine and him saying to me 
do you need some fresh air mate? The next thing I was waking up, I felt sick, I was shaking, I felt nauseous, I just felt horrendous and I didn't know where I was at first and then I realised that I was in my apartment. I looked at the clock and it said 10 to 10 and I thought, how can it be 10 to 10? I've just looked at the clock in the bar and it said 10 o'clock. And then I saw the sun shining through the, the window and I realised that it was the next day. So I thought, okay, I'll get up and have a shower. But when I went to stand, my legs completely gave way. I couldn't stand up. I dragged myself the short distance down the hallway into the bathroom. And by the time I got to the bathroom, by holding onto the door, I could just stand up. I turned on the shower and started to get dressed. I kicked off my boots, undid my jeans. As my jeans fell to the floor, I saw that they were covered in blood. My underwear was covered in blood and the backs of my legs were covered in blood. And I just collapsed onto the floor saying, no, God, how, how can that have happened? If that would have happened, I would have remembered. And why can't I remember? And I should be able to remember. And my mind was literally spinning out of control. And I know what they tell you. I know they say, don't wash away evidence. But the thing was, I felt like somebody had opened a bottle of acid, poured it all over me, and my skin was literally falling off my bones. Then I got to do a video with Charles, um, who came to interview me you know, seeing the show that day. And then I did a, uh, a sharing stories with him, getting to hear his story. Then in June, obviously because of Kieran's death and because death was something that was just so big and massive in my life, I thought it was a good time to talk about my time being a hospice nurse. So that video helping somebody to die was somebody that was something that you know really people really took to in june i got to catch up with my friend nikki um and i made a video called hello old friend and that video was just about catching up with friends and just really being able to spend some time with people and let you, them know how important they are and Nikki was a friend of Kieran's as well so we were both going through that same loss um, and it was good to get some time to spend with her and her wee boy Finlay who is amazing. Then came July and July is Pride Month and I got to walk in Pride for the first time in my life. I got to march in the parade and it was great. I got to walk with Impulse London. They're an organisation here in London. And um, I got to walk with them. And I, there's a video up up here of that. And also I'm going to put some pictures in here. And just to, I just felt proud, you know. I felt proud of, of who I was and, and, and just being able to, to walk and say, yeah, I'm here, you know. August time came and I think, well, I know I was just going, what's going on with my health? I was really struggling with my nausea and vomiting and just constantly feeling sick. It was really getting on top of me. It was getting hard and I had been on a waiting list for an operation. So I knew that that was coming up and something else that was coming up in October was my friend Richie and Emily's wedding. So that for me was a real milestone. Again, because Kieran had died, I was just so about making sure that my friends knew how much I loved them and how important they were. And this wedding for me was just, it was, <sighs> I was just so happy that I'd got there. So, um, Getting Married was the October video. You can also see that up here. And that was so much fun. I just felt like a teenager. It was just so much fun. And to see Rich and Emily get married was very special. I felt very lucky um, to be part of that. Then, of course, the next month is my operation. So I had the operation it was rough and it didn't work so 
it was hard you know it was another it was another blow you know to to me and to my health and to my mental health you know it's it was just a struggle of course November comes and I had a sharing stories which was great it was great to get Aaron on and talk about him and his life and obviously our photo shoot that we'd done together um, you can catch a couple of pictures here and then it comes to December and I think looking back on the past year and I always used to think it was old people that said life is short but it's not we're so lucky to have friendships that shape us and mould us and give us memories and when we lose somebody just that frame that framework that has built us is shaken and I just as this year comes to a close and you know all the chaos and festivities are going on I just want to say that that my blood sugar is low do you know talk about breaking that moment shut up I'll do you in a minute um, I just want to say how important it is to say to people you love them and not let stupid petty arguments get in the way when you do care about somebody and just don't put things off don't leave it till tomorrow if you can do it today because you might not get that tomorrow you might not get that chance to tell somebody that you love them so remember to maybe do that this Christmas tell somebody you love them tell them how important and special and wonderful they are and hug more <laughs> yeah I think that's something else I've realized this year um, just hug people more I will probably do a video over Christmas but I want to make this my final thought for the year love hug hold touch remember be thankful I know I seem sad in this video and there is an element of sadness because I miss my friends that have gone and although this year has been pretty crap in a lot of ways I hope this video shows some of the good stuff as well because amongst all that crap that we go through and some people go through more crap than others there are always good things there's friends there's my cats there's YouTube you know there's creating there's my friend Rich and Emily's wedding my friend Bernardo and Adam are getting married today on the day that I'm doing this video they're getting married um, I'm sure next year is gonna bring some wonderful additions to my life and I love you all for being part of what I've done in the last three and a half years and Although I feel tired and old, I know that there's more to give. I want you to tell me in the comment section what you are thankful for. And if you have lost somebody or more than one person like me this year, then I'm sending out a big massive hug to you because I know how life-changing that is. And I think of Molly, I'm gonna post a picture of Molly here. I think of Molly now and she would be saying to me, son, I love you, but shut up. <laughs>